Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Sonila. I'm the food blogger behind MediterraneanLatinLoveAffair.com. So today I want to prepare a beautiful fall salad. You know, we are always excited for summer when there's a lot of um, produce available. And sometimes during fall we get into a rut and we don't know what else to use to make new salads or new meals. But don't fret, I have the perfect salad just for you with perfect fall flavors. Um, I love using this salad on the Thanksgiving table. It gives it a lot of color, um, taste, and it's a perfect complement to turkey and to the other side dishes for Thanksgiving. So this salad has kale, about four ounces. I use butternut squash, um, cubed, and then we'll make a dressing. On the salad we'll have uh, cranberries, as well as walnut. Okay, so first let's get started with the dressing. So for the dressing, I use olive oil. We'll put lemon in, lemon zest, um, one shallot, um, garlic. I use jumbo garlic. So this garlic, maybe it's about four or five um, regular cloves of garlic. And then we'll add salt and pepper to, um, to the dressing. So first I'll blend on um, a little food processor. It's a mini food processor. It makes the chopping easier. It will blend this uh, shallot and garlic in fine pieces. Okay, I'll just slice it in big slices. No need to, to, you can just roughly chop it and put it in. We'll do the same with the garlic. Okay, big pieces, no need to mince it. Okay, so I have um, the minced uh, shallot and garlic. They're just blended together. We'll use a spoon and we'll um, put that over the olive oil. Okay, so we'll put two tablespoons of maple syrup. just eyeballing it but it's about two tablespoons okay and we'll squeeze we'll squeeze the lemon over the, the dressing cut another lemon Make sure you remove any seeds, if there are any visible. If none, just squeeze over. From the lemons that you already squeezed, um, you can put a little bit of lemon zest over the dressing. It adds a little bit of extra flavor. I like to add um, Mediterranean sea salt. I don't add too much, so you can leave it up to your guests to, to supplement in their plate. Now we add some cracked pepper. Okay, I'll close the jar. I give it a quick shake. And the dressing is ready. Okay, uh, for this salad, I like to use baby kale. It's a little bit easier to digest. You don't need to do a lot of cutting. The leaves are already small and they're thinner. So um, there's no need to um, process them before or pre-cook them or do anything. Uh, plus it goes the taste of baby kale goes very well with butternut squash now when it comes to butternut squash I often um, buy butternut squash and cook it from scratch so if you're cooking like a big meal where with butternut squash um, you can save some and use it on the salad um, you can buy frozen butternut squash and cook it either in the microwave or, or roast it in the oven that's easier because it comes already pre-cut in uh, cube sizes um, the other um, option is also buying it fresh but already cut 
and um, in that case you would roast it for 20 minutes with olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Just roast it to the point where you can pierce it with a fork. I have a couple of other recipes where I use butternut squash, so I'll uh, link those in the description so you can see different methods of how you cook uh, butternut squash. For this specific recipe, what I did is I used uh, frozen butternut squash and I just microwaved it for about 10 minutes, um, um, let it uh, drain and it's ready. Um, you don't want to put a lot of seasoning on it um, because you will use this, the salad dressing and that will give it its own seasoning. So let's pour that over the salad. Now we'll have about two tablespoons of um, dried cranberries. Cranberries taste really good in a salad, plus they make it look more festive. So if you're gonna make this salad for Thanksgiving, it's going to look really pretty. Perfect. And then I like to add some walnuts. I, I, I tend to switch it up between um, walnuts and pecans. Uh, and sometimes I even use uh, pralines. So um, you can pick your favorite nuts to add to the salad. I should have opened this before. <laughs> okay, so I have walnut tops. I'm adding over the salad. I mean, this salad just screams fall and Thanksgiving. It's like perfect flavors all mixed together. You can add additional ingredients. I like to keep it simple with few ingredients because Thanksgiving table is full of other side dishes and you'll have a lot of other flavors mixed in. So keeping the salad simple is just perfect for me. Okay, I think that's enough walnuts. Okay, now that the salad is ready, we'll just add the dressing in. You can uh, let the dressing um, um, put it on the table and let each one of your guests apply dressing to their own um, side of the salad or you can pre-mix everything in and then maybe they can adjust the salt of taste afterwards. Oh, the dressing smells amazing. The lemon, the fresh lemon makes such a big difference. Okay, we'll put this on here. You can give it a good mix to the salad. Hope you enjoy Thanksgiving with your families and if you tried this salad please let me know how you liked it. Okay, bye!